Hey guys, it's Ann over at Plan Obsessed, and today we're going to take a look in on my 55 gallon bin, which I have affectionately named Blue, and we're going to take a look and see what's going on. It's been about, I don't know, maybe even a week and a half since I've looked in on these guys. And if you look here on top, we have some people, no, worms, that are trying to escape uh, over the top, or maybe they're just hanging out because of the moisture, I don't know. So let's pull off the bubble wrap and see what we've got. Looks like we've got more that are hanging out on top. I'm gonna shake, shake, shake. I'm not going to remove this from the bin altogether, so they should go back right where they came from. Well, it looks like we've got a good fair amount of sprouts here, whether it be melon or pumpkin. Um, even in my absence, they've been trying to grow a garden for me. So I'm going to put you down here, and then we're going to take a look and see what they've been up to. All right, here we are and we're just going to pick through it. One of the things that I'm doing this time in the, the big bin here that I did not do previously is I'm running it all concurrent. I'm not doing the wedge system like I was before. And whether that turns out to be a good idea or not uh, remains to be seen. So we did have a lot of um, leaves and whatnot and I did get a few people saying, oh you shouldn't put leaves in a bin except for when you start it. Um, I don't know, I tend to just try different things. So we're just going to keep digging through here. But I intend to make sure that the whole bin is running at the same time so that the worms have a, a greater amount of surface area to work with. Now the worms that are in here are the red wigglers, the European night crawlers, and the blue worms. From what I understand, the blue worms are more tropical, so they probably will slow down considering that it's very cold in the basement. It's in the mid-50s this week because it's well below freezing outside. So right now I'm just digging through and, and seeing what's going on. Seeing if there's any food left, seeing where the worms are. Out my own thing. Hello. Hi. How you doing? Oh, just doing a video. You want to be on the worm video? Worm video? No. Worm video? No. I'm not ready for the fame. You're not ready for the uh, 15 minutes of fame that you will get from. No from all of the people who love watching worms. All right, so it looks like things are drying out a little bit faster than I'd like them to, so although I don't advocate using straight up water, I've got leaves here that are drier than it's going to take. I'm not going to spend all day with a sp spray bottle. So I am going to pour um, on the leaves and incorporate them into the casting slash leaf mold that's already in here. So before I get the, uh, the nasty grams, I'm just telling you, I don't normally do this and if you watch my channel you know that. Um, and adding more to this, I am trying to get the entire 55 gallon bin working all at the same time. So I'm going to be adding some junk mail to the mix so that I can get the entire bin working at the same time. Just 
going to continue to wet this down. Ooh, that's cold. Um, I'm going to continue to wet this down and mix everything up together, which, you know, you guys will get to view on Fast Forward. Also, please note, this is not my normal prepared bedding. This is just paper, but there's enough microbes in the leaves and in the old castings that this should break down very quickly. I'm just going to go down the middle here. As I was going through, I didn't really see anything that looked like a last feeding. But then again, I haven't been down here in a week or two. So it's not surprising that the 10 or, pound, 10 or so pounds of worms that are in here have already gone through it. So I'm just going to dig a little bit of a hole and give them a fair amount of the um, bread and carrots and then that should hold them for quite some time. They'll be able to get to the bread very quickly. And then, of course, the carrots, they'll take weeks, if not months. Um, kind of went a little wild there throwing the food. All right. Well, I'm going to cover this back up with their bubble wrap. And I have got most of the length all incorporated now. I will keep doing that as I bring the volunteer worms over and whatever small amount of castings they've got in there. But that's it for today. I'm going to cover that up. You don't need to see that. That's boring. Um, but if you like the video, give me a muddy thumbs up. Pretty muddy today. And if you're not already a member of my worm family, click that subscribe button. And if you want to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it, ring that little bell icon. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And everybody, have a good day.